fam, it's the Southern Girl Shantae LeVent, and on today's Tutorial Tuesday, I have some DIYs for desktop accessories. I recently did a haul where I picked up some items from the Goodwill, and I actually went back and picked up a couple of more things from another Goodwill that I didn't show, but I did do some exciting transformations on these items. I really want my office to be beautiful as well as functional because right now it is in need of some love, honey. I have a few areas in my home that I plan on redoing, of course giving it that high end look on a budget that I'm going to feature in some future videos so y'all have to tune back in. So let's jump right on in for desktop accessories. Okay guys, here are your supplies for the tissue box. Mine happened to be a wooden one that I picked up at the Goodwill, but if you found a plastic one, just make sure you use the appropriate paint for plastic. This was some paint that I had around the house, and I'm just going to paint it on all sides, and I let it dry for about 20 minutes. I'm going to use a stencil that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I'm using the chevron pattern on its side to give it a little twist. And adding a small piece of tape to the top and bottom, you're going to place your stencil right where you want it. I'm going to use just some regular acrylic craft paint, pouncing a lot of the paint out, and I'm just going to pounce it on my stencil. You don't need a lot of paint because you don't want the paint to run underneath the stencil. Let that set up for a few minutes and carefully remove it. And voila! Now you just want to go ahead and line the stencil up. Keep pouncing with your sponge brush. And we're just going to repeat that same step all the way around the box. Again, I'm just lining my stencil up. And just make sure you keep dabbing your sponge brush on your scrap sheet of paper so that it doesn't get oversaturated. You can keep pouncing in that same motion and continue around all sides of your box and you're done. Add your Kleenexes and you're good to go. Okay guys, here are supplies for the caddy. I picked this caddy up at the Goodwill. It was the one that I paid about $1.93 for and we're going to make it look fabulous. First things first, let's go ahead and make a template for the pattern. I didn't want any of the brown to show and I'm just using print paper and taping it together so that it's wide enough to go around the caddy. You could use newspaper here, but I think the print paper is a little more sturdier. What's going to be most important is to line lining the sides up and finding the creases of your caddy. I decided to put my seam on the side of the caddy and let's just tape everything down. Once your paper is taped into place, make a crease at each corner. Now cut along each crease. Once each crease is cut, I'm going to fold down the front. Just cut that piece off. And now you can press down to find the outline of the caddy on the paper. And this is going to help you create the pattern that you're going to use for your fabric. Do that for all sides. Let's take it a loose. I'm going to put a couple more pieces of tape on it to secure it so that it doesn't fall apart. Now let's trace out the pattern onto our fabric. I'm actually tracing on the back side of my vinyl, which is a fabulous crocodile print. I want the bottom to be very straight, so I'm going to use my straight edge and just trace that out so that I'll have a nice clean cut at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and cut out the top. And let's go ahead and fit that pattern back around our caddy. Since I'm satisfied with that, let's go ahead and paint the edges that will show. I'm using a liquid gold paint because it sticks to everything. And if you use this paint, just be careful because it, it, it's not coming off if it gets onto something. I let that dry for about 45 minutes. And now I'm going to go ahead and do another test run just to see that everything is covered and none of the brown edges will show. And make sure that you pull the fabric tight so that it is a snug fit. 
Let's go ahead and adjust our pattern slightly using your pencil. Trace out any extra that you may have. Okay, let's trim it down so that it's a perfect fit. Go ahead and add your glue of choice. I use spray adhesive and press it back into place. I have a piece of tape on the end just to hold it in place until it completely dries. And there you have it guys, my new beautiful desk caddy. So here are your supplies for the stapler. I had a stapler and some gemstones lying around and I figured, hey, why not bling them out? So I got these gemstones at Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon. And what you want to do with them, they already have adhesive on them, is to just basically cut to size. The adhesive on it is pretty sticky, but any place that you feel it may lift, then go ahead and put a couple of drops of super glue or hot glue. I think the super glue actually works better. And the only thing that I'm doing is just cutting to size. I figured why waste a good stapler? Once you get to some of those little tricky areas, you want to use either your box cutter or an X-Acto knife. I would have used an X-Acto knife, I just didn't have a blade for it. But those pieces that you cut off, let's save those because you can use those for fill-ins. Just keep going around your staple, filling in any little holes or gaps that you may have. Cutting off any extra that's not fitting well. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Now any corners that you feel may lift that's not laying down properly, go ahead and add your super glue. Let it dry. Isn't this a blinged out way to recycle, reuse, and renew? And guess what? An old unattractive stapler is now one of the prettiest pieces on my desk. So guys, these are some easy DIYs for your desktop accessories. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments that you may have down below. And always remember to subscribe.